surrounded by festivals. Fireworks and families, Normandale Lake is a summertime staple. But you wouldn't be able to tell just by looking at it. Normandale Lake is a very shallow lake, so the average depth is only three feet deep. And so this allows plants to grow throughout the lake, uh, which people probably have noticed is one of the issues we hear a lot about. Between the algae and the smell, it's no secret this body of water could use a makeover. And the time to do it is finally here. We're going to be drawing down the lake this fall, and we're going to uh, try to freeze out the curly leaf pondweed that is growing in the lake. Right now, it kind of outcompetes all the other weeds and, and vegetation in the lake. The goal um, by the uh, end of the fall is to have the lake essentially drained for the winter. Once uh, snow melt starts to happen, we will kind of close the outlet pipe and we'll fill the lake back up. And so once the lake's filled back up, we still expect to have some of the um, curly leaf pondweed in the lake, especially in the parts of the lake that are a little bit deeper. And so what we'll be doing is we'll be doing an herbicide treatment of the lake to kill the remaining curly leaf pondweed. The whole process will be done by pumping water out and installing a pipe to help it drain. A small channel of water will remain since Nine Mile Creek runs through it, a big undertaking with little disruption. We are going to make sure that at least one lane of the trail stays open at all times. And if for some reason the, the construction activity that's going on precludes that, we'll, we'll give a vast notice uh, of what, what's being done and when, when the trail will be closed. But we don't anticipate it to be a huge problem. Good news for humans who love the lake. And don't worry, animals are being taken into account too. One of the things we're going to do for the turtles is uh, start the drawdown in mid-August which gives us plenty of time for the turtles to, to move out of the area. And what we'll do is we'll put up fencing along the lake and steer them to the points where we want them to go so they're not crossing any of the major roads and, and getting hit. The fish should survive just fine in the, in the shallow water that remains once we draw things down. And while the city and watershed district are taking big steps to improve the water quality here, there's ways you can help out too. By adopting a drain and cleaning these this debris up, you can keep it out of our lakes and creek and help keep our lakes and creeks clean. So there's a website that you can go to, adoptadrain.org, and you can adopt a drain. Because even though Normandale Lake will be full of water again next summer, the work won't be over. There's gonna be an ongoing effort in coming years to do additional herbicide treatments. The district's also been um, busy doing work upstream in the, in the upstream watershed. There's been a lot of uh, work in the last couple of decades done up there uh, to reduce the amount of sediment and phosphorus that gets to the creek and is transported to Normandale Lake. It's always going to support a healthy plant population, a plant population that grows throughout the lake. But our goals of this project are to reduce the amount of phosphorus in the lake and reduce the population of curly leaf pondweed. And so by doing this, um, we will make the lake healthier and we hope to address some of the issues that people see that they don't like, the amount of algae and some of the odor issues. So in the end, we do hope to make the lake a better place and a better backdrop for all your favorite summer activities.